Next day here's gone by, a couple of days since we went and looked at the wife's previous potential horse trailer, which is a whole nother spiel and deal. But guys, Nasty Red is up for grabs right now, but this giveaway is ending on June 25th. Such a good dog. June 25th, this giveaway is ending. If you want to get in to win the one and only Nasty Red, back and better than ever with a 2.0 makeover, New KG1 Forge wheels, new tires, new Delmonico red paint. First time I've ever seen it on a second gen. It's because it's not supposed to be on a second gen, but it looks really good on a second gen. New fourth gen tow mirrors, black frame, chrome cap, turning signals in the corners, flatbed. Guys, this thing is, is legit. It's nice. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, towing airbags, as well as a custom in-debt fabrication exhaust tip. This thing is the ultimate workhorse farm truck package. If you want to enter to win this thing, literally buying a shirt. For example, like this one, which is a ratchet shifter from an old truck that we gave away over a year ago, almost two years ago now. 800-ish horsepower, third gen, if you guys remember correctly. The thing was so sick. Anyways, if you want to get enter to win this thing, head on to the store, buy anything you like anything that you think would fit your knee it's kind of like chris james that was just here and picked up that dually he's like i just figured hey you know what i need to buy some detailing products it's that time of year i gotta get stuff for detailing why not buy from their site because i could win a truck you know so it's just one of those things buy something you like or something you need anyway get under to win this thing plus five thousand dollars in cash because time is running out i'm pretty sure at the time of this video you have less than two weeks for this giveaway is done so we're going to be hopping in the wife's sturgeon here and there's a whole nother ordeal with the horse trailer situation i wanted to go into just a little bit more in detail i don't know if she'll be able to explain it without getting just kind of frustrated so let me just kind of go into a brief description of what happened because i'm sure the caption on yesterday's video in the subtitle i say yesterday's it's because it went up yesterday when i'm filming this but by the time you see this it could have been like two three days ago there was like middle part of the video where I had like a small, you know, I guess you could say clip of slideshow of just a couple of words. Cause we'd went to go look at a horse trailer. The lady had sent her a bunch of pictures, which were apparently pictures of the trailer when she had saw the listing and bought it over a year or two ago. And so the pictures, of course, this thing looked a lot better. And she sent all these photos and my wife even asked for additional photos. Could you send me photos of the underside? Could you send me photos of the tread on the tires and the side wall to make sure they don't have any dry rot? You know, could you send me pictures of, you know, the boards, the planks underneath the deck to make sure I don't I want to want to make sure if I'm driving four hours one way and four hours back, does not have like rotten boards? And she's like, do the trailer brakes work? She said yes. Does all the you know wiring for the lighting work? She said yes. Turning signals yes. So she says all these things yeah yeah yeah, and she's like yeah there's only a couple of small rust spots and she sent a couple of pictures of them. And the ones that she said were not bad. I mean, it was like, okay, it's, it's a freaking 22 year old trailer. Like that's not bad. And like little surface scaly bubble stuff. So all that being said, she's like, okay, well, can you hold it for me until Saturday? And keep in mind, it was about a, I think it was a Wednesday. And she's like, no, it's not gonna last that long. It's a really good deal. She's like, well, how much to hold it? She said a thousand dollars to hold it. Keep in mind, this is a $3,000 trailer. I said, there's no way you are sending her a thousand dollars to hold a $3,000 item no way that's that's not normal people don't do that i'll send somebody like 200 bucks to hold a forty thousand fifty thousand dollar pickup truck like when i had to go and uh buy that one ford that we gave away back in this time last year you know the guy was like yeah you know 200 bucks you know yeah i'll hold the truck for you you know and i'm like okay cool but that's a fifty thousand dollar pickup truck and the guy sent me super thorough photos and it was just it was a little bit different you know that truck was legitimately nice and he answered every single question in detail every photo in detail he didn't try to like hide anything so it was like it was a little bit different and i talked to the guy over the phone i got a got a little bit of an idea of how he sounded did he sound like he's trying to pull any crap on me you know just i really try to feel out you know people that are selling items before i commit to anything like that kind of getting my voice back a little bit but it's not 100 so bear with me we get down there after she sends her a 200 dollar deposit to hold it because lady said no you have to send me 200 dollars non-refundable deposit because you know it's not gonna last so we get all the way down there. As soon as we pull in, huge chunk of metal missing out of the cross member on the trailer. Like the whole front, you know, it's a gooseneck. It comes down, there's a huge section of steel down along the bottom, like where the jack would come down and it's welded to and stuff. I mean like a one foot wide rust hole all across that bottom cross member. Like a section of it was gone. And it was like a whole tubular section of steel and like three sides of it were gone. There was only a back plate that was still kind of holding on. One of the fenders, whole fender like this, like 
goodness bikers already up and at it oh yeah there's my dog taking a crap in the yard photo bomber man so the hole you know the fender to you know that goes over the tire was blown off on the one side it wasn't even there okay and the whole sidewall then that was pop rivets on this horse trailer was literally all the rivets from when that blew off it apparently like ripped all the rivets out like three foot up from the one corner and all the way up to the fender all the way to the back corner on the one side so the whole back wall just kind of flapped and you could see clear daylight just in and out of the trailer because it was just flapping there and the metal was rubbing on the tire which means that going down the road we probably wouldn't have made it 20 minutes and it would have sliced a hole in that tire as soon as we hit any kind of bumps on the suspension that could you know make that tire compress a little bit and catch that metal a little bit worse could have just blown a tire and then i'm like well you know i brought some tools and some screws and some other stuff because i i always just go prepared for this kind of stuff because i hate getting places and being like okay something i could have bought or could have fixed super easy myself and just got us on the road it's not that big of a deal so then i'm like okay well do the lights work she's like oh yeah lights work perfect she's like i use it all plug it in no turning signals okay do the brake lights work one of the brake lights worked on the passenger i mean on the driver's side i'm like okay and then like 80 percent of all the other lights in the trailer were all burnt out they didn't even work and she's like well they're just light bulbs like it's not that big of a deal they were not just light bulbs they're like the led like little panels that you have to buy like the whole inserts for all these different spots i mean it was like that i'm like okay it's not just a couple light bulbs i mean it's probably a couple hundred dollars in lighting and he's replaced on this thing it's bad you know and then i'm like okay well let me just hook it up to the thing and i'm just trying to give her the benefit of the doubt here and think okay maybe she just really didn't know all of these things about her own trailer that she uses on a regular basis i don't know not buying it but whatever I'm trying to assume she's not just being a liar that's trying to you know sell us a piece of crap and completely misrepresent the item hook it up to the ball of the truck this thing plugged in testing the brakes and stuff and she's like oh yeah they're electric brakes going to test them they don't work and it's not the truck because i've used other trailers already behind this thing and my wife's gigantic trailer that she just sold and the brake controller worked every single time without fail we drove it back an hour and a half pulled it around a couple other times without fail the brakes worked amazing i could hit the brake controller and it would stop the trailer i mean it's it's not this. this is all brand new trailer wiring too that we just installed not that long ago i told my wife i'm like this is just an absolute pile of crap she lied to you about everything i'm like i would just tell her you want your 200 bucks back because you gave her 200 dollars as a non-refundable deposit but to hold an item that was properly described she didn't properly describe a single thing on this trailer everything she said was a lie she lied about all of it and so she's like yeah i'd like to get my 200 dollar deposit back she's like because I, I mean you did say it was a non-refundable but i said okay well if i send you this like you can keep it if i don't show up but if i show up you know like i'm not expecting you know, to keep that money and she's like no, it's non-refundable. Non-refundable means like no matter what, like I'm not giving you, I'm not giving it back to you. You completely lied about all this stuff though. She's like, I mean, it's an old trailer. What do you expect? She's like, it can be an old trailer, but if you're going to sell something and you're going to describe something and I'm going to talk to you about something and ask you all these questions and you give me completely different answers, I sent you the deposit based on the fact that all those answers were true and not lies. And the lady was just like, I'm not giving you any money back. Like, okay, keep in mind, we drove four hours she lied about everything we spent 150 dollars plus in diesel yeah an entire day driving back and forth and uh for nothing because somebody was completely dishonest if you haven't caught on yet over the years of me filming i cannot stand dishonest people selling stuff it's like the worst type of people to deal with because even if you ask every question they give you lies for answers and so it doesn't matter what questions you ask or how many photos like they always find a way to weasel the information around to make it seem like it's honesty and then you get there and just turns out it's all not it's all just a lie so that being said we are on our way to go look at another trailer for the wife today this time an even lower price man my voice sorry it's cracking because uh, my voice is hardly coming back it's an even lower price trailer technically was higher price but she came down substantially. She's like, if you can come get it today, I'll take that price. But otherwise, I've got people that are planning on coming this weekend. So, you know, like it's kind of a one-time type deal if you're going to come get it. You know, people kind of just say that stuff sometimes because they want you to move on it and not take your time, which I get it. 
but we're gonna go take this thing out she says she says there's no bad rust anywhere on the trailer and everything works tires are new spare is new there's no rot on the boards in the deck like everything's solid but she said it, it's completely patinaed and it could use paint if you if you really care about the paint it could use new paint other than that though the trailer does not need anything so i don't know we'll see let's go check it out here's the new trailer the wife picked up in replacement of the 35 45 55 footer it's uh it's a little rough around the edges right now but it is not rotted out and again i'm still trying to get my voice back here it's pretty much gone the other day but it's like patinaed you can see the paint flaking off everywhere but the thing is actually built like super heavy duty and there's no like rust holes really anywhere on the trailer just a lot of flaky stuff and wherever it flaked off there's surface rust but in terms of like holes of rust there's no like holes anywhere i think like for the most part this is probably the worst of it inside the fender well in a couple spots which the part that's rusted out is a fender liner which technically you can get new fenders easy but i don't think that's really any concern of hers because we're just going to grind this out the best we can and then she's actually going to be priming and repainting this whole thing here in the yard ourselves because we're not we're not trying to do it like a you know like a professional grade paint job like you would do on a car we're just wanting to get this thing stripped down primed painted with a good heavy duty outdoor paint and i think she was in about th almost 300 dollars in paint for this thing for the primary end paint so pretty excited about it for her i'm not going to do like a whole crazy thing i just want to show you a little bit of before so you can see a before and after again lots of patina lots of that old original paint flaking off um but other than just like some surface rust in some spots rusty it, crusties. yeah right rusty crusties it's really not that bad it really isn't i mean even underneath i mean it's really not bad because this trip what gear is this thing anyway Ninety-two. Yeah. Was, so, you know, yeah. I mean, we'll. They built stuff different than man. I mean, like even trucks. I know the trucks are better I mean, too. Everybody in like the horse community talks about now, like, like the newer trailers, and you're like, wherever you attach it, like you look at your horse, like just the tie, the tie-ons, or whatever they call the ties. On the, they're not going these are these point. are if if this thing comes over you're if this thing pulls off it's rolling the whole trailer with it i mean these things like if something hits it it's damaging the car before it gets to the horse the newer trailers that are just i mean yes they're light lighter um and they look better but when a car hits those they look better as of oh. now this thing's not done yet it, it could it could look better than a new one we don't know you know i don't know i'm, I'm someone that just like I'm not afraid to like make things the way that you know I want them. Like I don't yeah. necessarily have to buy them exactly. You know. You can have a little bit of vision and work on it for a couple of days and make it nice. So before we talk it up too much though, let's just see what we can even do with it. So we've got two grinders. This is one that I bought when I couldn't find my other one. And I didn't buy an expensive one because I'm like, I know I've got one somewhere. Yeah. So she's got the tool shop. It's working good so far. And she's just doing this. Like she's taking it from this to this we're getting all the flaky paint off getting it stripped down and then we're gonna prime it let it sit for a couple hours have, uh, and paint it rust cutter or yeah rust cutter so any of the real bad rust spots where even after we grind it there's just still lots of visible like you know metal like this that was exposed for a little while we're gonna spray it down with rust cutter and try to revive this old thing let's get it done
There she is. Ew. Well, I was talking about the trailer. I guess <laughs> you're there too. So, honey, I don't know how much video we got. We got a little bit of video, remember? We're like, oh yeah, we're gonna start to mess with this. And it was originally like really bad when we first started filming. Yeah. Um, this is not final product, just so everybody's clear. Just a couple of small details. We still have new lights going on all around. The windows are of course taped up because we're not done. And then this is only one coat yeah. of paint. There's still gonna be probably two more or at least one more full one on the outside and one on the inside. Wheels have not been painted. Um, but overall, I mean, it, it looks pretty good for what she's trying to do with it. I mean, yeah yeah which is all we're looking for like this will actually help kind of prevent the rusting from further like you know what i mean no it just creates another like protection layer and then we did go in with um, the rust cutter and spray it on some of the rust spots and then obviously rinse it before we paint it but um yeah we still haven't even tackled the inside so it's definitely like a process mod so you can tell like like you said the wheels haven't even been touched yet so a little out of time it is a big project so. yeah that's not bad though for two days no. this wind i hope this wind is not completely ruining this audio every time i go to film i was telling her i don't think there's a day it's not windy out here if i pull my phone out to film it's windy every single time but that's the update for that thing so far and uh person, i don't know it's pretty bright <laughs> it's pretty bright but I mean, we got all up in here. We painted her chains, which they're going to get chipped up over time, obviously. But painted the chains, painted the hitch, um, painted the jack. I mean, everything. Painted everything. Well, I'm going to stand over here where the lighting is, of course, not as good. But the wind is hopefully not as bad. There's an update on her trailer so far. Of course, this is not final product of course she's gonna actually be going with some charcoal paint that's like the color of the truck and hitting like some of the trim pieces with a hand brush real easy and some of the other stuff she's gonna be sanding down the wheels a little bit getting those all painted either charcoal or white she's still kind of debating on that and then in terms of the overall trailer still needs another full coat and then we're gonna be putting all the new lighting on it as well which would just kind of help tie it all together it'll be a cool finished product when it's done for what kind of money she's got into this, which is not that much, it's gonna be pretty freaking sweet. And for her, it's like a perfect size compared to the other one, which is way overkill for what she's gonna use it for. But this is gonna be great for pulling behind her truck. It'd be super easy to pull around. She doesn't need to take too wide of turns, stuff like that, easy to back around. And it'll overall just be a much better fit. If you guys wanna get entered to win Nasty Red 2.0, guys, that giveaway is ending on June 25th. If you do not realize how close it is to coming to an end, that is like, very very soon so if you have not done so yet hit that link on pk.com check your emails for any current bonuses we might be running and hopefully i will be catching you here soon to pick up your new truck plus five thousand dollars in cash but you cannot win if you do not enter thanks so much guys i'll catch you in the next one